Hey guys, it's Steve and this is time for the sexiest cover of that last week. Holy Queen, shoe number 13, the Power Girl and the Holy Queen team ups is really great and the Power Girl is overall the boss. Not, not the overall, it, she is really really sexy and looks great and the figure drawings and the artwork is unquestionable so here we go with the weird science comics black dot black spot dot in i'm gonna do the review from this creator it will be a really good review t and a he has certain i don't know why since its debut holy queen has been the place to go for party humor and outrageous inappropriate outfits and situation it's been so much fun but unfortunately an ongoing story didn't seem to be a priority until Power Girl showed up and to think that I was worried that PG was only brought in for boob jokes. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, everyone will like it. And while there has been plenty of those, seriously, how could Connor and Palmiotti not? The Hull Queen Power Girl team up has taken the book to new heights because of its hilarious ongoing tale of memory loss and superhero hijinks. While it looks like the dynamic duo are breaking up, they part ways in another hilarious issue that shows why this book is one of the best on the shelves today. The issue starts what? With what I have waiting for a couple of issues, our girls facing off with clocking and sports master. No portals to other dimensions here. Just a kick-ass superhero brawl with tennis rackets, a segue, snarky comments, and a nuclear missile. Yep, sports most sports monster really stepped up his game. But for while PG can survive almost anything, he can't. If not for Clark King's time reversal, the DCU would be minus one awesome sports related villain. The battle ends with a destroyed shopping mall and two villains of the run. That's sometimes it's pretty cool, but all the time it's most of the time the panels whichever has the power goal and it focuses only one thing you can you can check that one after Tony tries to get her in bed fail and Hurley tries to join her in the shower another fail power goes ends up as the strong woman in the sideshow it goes as poorly as you'd imagine and only a clocking and sports monster sighting stops her from bringing down the whole building after some crazy bits involving a mugger hullet, but and a gun sportsmaster and clocking are finally stopped. How it happens is hilarious and really shows that Holly is not quite the hero she wants to be just yet to celebrate Holly and Porgle's head up for a little girl talk and that's when the worst thing possible happens. Porgle gets her memory back. The ru running joke throughout this arc is how Porgle would get her memory back in this alone she's been hit by a nuclear bomb and a lighting fixture each time Holly has worried that the impact would jog PG's memory just wait until you see what finally does the job it's disgusting and fits the book to a T the issue ends with Holly on the wrong end of a Paris vacation minus her crime fighting partner if this is the last we see of her in this book. I'll be a very sad fan. I love this issue and the arc as a whole. Connor and Palmiotti have given my me my favorite team up since Hurley and Green are in injustice. It's funny that Hurley is in both, but if loving her is wrong, I don't want to be right. Like I said earlier, it was great finally having a solid story to back up the humor in this book, and I hope the trend continues. I also have to give kudos to Connor and Palmiotti for pointing their sarcastic humor and all the things this is the oh my god this panel is most most seducing panel from this week I was thinking that I'm gonna do a video of sexiest illustration from this week or kind of thing so Chad Hurden's art was a good as usual which means it was really good the only thing that sucks is he won't be drawing power goal anymore his PG was awesome and was the even better than his whole life. my favorite however was Eggy I am so glad he's remained in the book after his appearances in the annual and I hope he gets more of a push in the near future bits and pieces Holy Queen issue 13 is another great issue man Amanda Connor and Jim Palmiotti and the Holy Queen Power Girl team up and how sad I am its ending is high praise for how good it was. Chad Harden's art helped make the hilarious superhero action come to life and I wish it could continue forever. 
That's what I like it the most. All good things must come to an end. But I hope Connor and Paul Muti continue to make strong stories. Our final thought this team is comic magic. And the puns, the sexy humor, the gags and the sceneness is a real breath of fresh air among the overly dark and heavy plots and art that is being thrown out of most these titles these days. This issue had me laughing over and over again, that's the thing. So hope you guys have enjoyed it, like it, share it and subscribe for more amazing videos.